hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're seeing me for the first time my name is Shalin and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your love and support I really 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 do appreciate it and uh, I want to make this video even though I am exhausted in this video I'm going to share a little bit about my experience with this German exam I'm going to be giving you 10 tips on how to pass your exams first thing that i feel i need to mention is that um the gote a1 exam is um for you to pass and get a certificate you have to score 60 percent out of 100 apart from scoring 60 percent expression you have to score a minimum of 15 and the other three parts writing listening and reading you have to score 45 marks so that total it becomes 60 percent even if you score 60 percent but expression is 10 you do not get a certificate or rather uh, the exam is assumed the standard even if you get 60 but the three other writing exams are summed up to less than 45 you do not also get a certificate even if you score more than 60 but those two conditions are not met you have not passed your exams i took a class but not with gote i had a teacher which if you are interested i'm willing to connect you but at the same time i know people who have not taken classes they have studied on their own as you can do the exams after studying on your own on youtube or using other materials but you can also attend Gote or some other teacher you know that the A1 exams is easy, not designed in a way that it throws curveballs at you. It's quite a simple exam, of course, depending on how much you prepare for it and things that like that. And yeah, because it's a beginner's level, so not so much is expected of you and not so much is um, asked of you. So it's quite simple but even if you fail it do not beat yourself up because german is not that easy of a language to learn my first thing i want to say is modal verbs when you're going to do a one at least make sure you know modal verbs with like must can may should i think should is in a2 those ones are make it easy for you to communicate and why i love to use this modal verb is even if you don't know the conjugation of the verbs it will be easy to use them all you need to know is conjugation of the modal verbs which is quite simple all verbs come in the second position and the main verb comes at the end of the sentence and when it is not conjugated let's say i want to say i would like to travel to germany ich möchte nach deutschland fahren i would like you guys to at least have modal verbs in your pocket while you are going to take your exams. Tip number two, be basic. Do not try to impress the examiners. You are at a one level, nothing is expected of you. Be as simple as you can. There was this guy from Congo. He tried to impress the examiner and that did not go well. When we get into exam room, you are given a paper with the questions you need to answer while speaking at a, a normal like name, where you are from that that so then after you receive this paper you're supposed to say and say my name how old where i live and just basically it's a guideline to your introduction and that boy when he was given a chance he started saying stories akanza kusema oh sijui nini he was he talked for like 3 minutes na hatukua tunamsikia kwa sababu mimi sikuwa naelewa that level of kijerumani alikuwa anasema akasema vitu mingi examiner kam Simamisha kamuambia, hey, hatuna time, just use that guideline. So when he's given the guideline now for him to now speak, he spoke. And then after he's spoken, the examiner anafaku kuliza maswali mbili. So then this guy, though the questions he was asked for me was pretty simple. I don't understand why, how could you, yet he talked all that kijerumani before. Kaulizwa, how much is the ticket from Kenya? To DRC he didn't understand that question and then he's asked because he said he lives in Gara so he's asked 
how many minutes on foot does it take him to walk from Gara to town? He didn't understand the question. So you're seeing the disadvantages of trying to impress an examiner, yet others were asked simple questions that you're supposed to be asked, such as spell your last name. But you get see the questions he got because he was trying to impress the examiner. And if you go high, the examiner follows you right up there. There's no way he was going to talk all that German and then the examiner to ask him uh, his last name. Of course, he was going to be asked because it's like he knows much. So do not try to impress the examiner. Be best. Tip number three, know the alphabet. Like this is where the alphabet comes in handy. After you have introduced yourself, like I was saying, you might be asked to spell your last name or the, your first name or your uh, middle name. It doesn't matter. You can be asked to spell something. You can also be asked to spell where you live, anything. So you can also be asked to tell the time. Tip number four is time management. Anytime you're doing exams, time management is important because you do not want to be cut out of time. Anything can happen to you except you being that your work is not done on time, which brings me to the same, same guy. Before we, we went for expression, I had seen him in the writing exams. And <laughs> his paper was collected before he was finished. And I know this why, because when you're given the paper on the last page is where you're supposed to write Schreiben. Before it was collected, he was still writing and the examiner is like, no, time is up. So, you know, the, the examiner is trying to take and he's trying to write. And when his paper was finally taken, I could see at the back, it was empty. So I know for a fact that he did not pass his exams because time management, and then he definitely ruined his expression later. So make sure that you work within the time. All I'm saying is make sure that you are on top of time and give allowance yeah, like five minutes before time issue so that you at least go through your work. Tip number four, um, vocabulary is more important than grammar and I learned this the hard way. I was so much into grammar. I, didn't, I don't even know, up to now, I don't even know most simple vocabularies, but I know even um, slightly complex grammar. And vocabulary is important because in your lesson, in your horror, nobody cares whether you understand the grammar. Tip number six, listen, 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 listen. I, I can't believe I didn't start to this point. This is the most important thing of your exam because if you do not listen, you're going to fail your marks are not going to add up to 45 because of Horan. And if you do not practice listening during the exams, how to skia kitu, I can promise you that you will not hear anything. Lazimu zoe wa Jerumani wa kiongea, you are able to pick words mbio. I, I swear, I swear, this is so important. Nikitoka exam room, nikuwa na skia wa siana wengine wa kisema, oh, akisi kusikia kitu, ni and was like, yep. I know, but I had known earlier, so I had practiced my listening. When it, the audio played, it was a walk in the park for me. I could hear everything. Like, it was so wonderful. Ushaunatile feeling amemeza kuongea, and then your question is like, of course, alisema anataka nini, anataka vegetable salad, not potato salad. You, you just mark the answers so nicely. Listen, listen as much as you can. There are so many videos on YouTube that I used, and mostly they are made by these Indians. They take their time and put audios there for you, and that is so nice. Those are the audios that you can listen to. Yani, listen and jaribuku jibizo matualizao. If you have motive, yo buke nyegote uses, it comes with a CD. Listen to that CD. Your temara. It's like a hundred and something audios, but ziko fupi fupi. Listen to it. Atakamu na skia marangapi. Listen to it. You know, I did not have enough time, so I listened to it twice zote. But you can listen three times. Listen, 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 listen. If you listen and you pass your horn, you have passed that exam. Tip number seven. Be brief in your shriben. Like, Wachana na story mingi. Just what you know, use the words you know as simple and 
possible. Umeambiwa you invite mtu ameku invite kwa um, have coffee you want to accept that invitation straight to the point. Thank you for your invitation. I would like to come. Where are we meeting? At what time? Just be brief, short sentences. Ach another sentence. Ref you are trying to use vitu zingine to impress examiner. Be brief. Tip number act. Use the words you already know. Tafadhali, tafadhali, tafadhali. Use the words you already know in expression and in Schreiben. If you do not know what a pen is, what and I don't end up calling a pen something that it's not. Tip number nine is uh, go to the website of the Gota Institute. A practice paper is on their website. Take a look at it so that you familiarize the structure exam so that you know how the exam is and how it looks like. Go through that practice paper so that you know what you're dealing with on your exam day. Tip number 10 which i can't believe i'm saying this but cram the first part of expression because <laughs> like everybody crams that part you have to cram it like it's the first part of expression is just there are i think five or six questions that you ask your name you're given that paper your name your age where you live the languages you speak I think your hobbies and maybe your profession. You don't need to not know this. You need to know how you're going to say it. You better get cramming and cram that part of the exam. It's not cramming because it's you. You know those things, but you don't need to hesitate during the exam. If you need a book, a one book, just tell me and I will send you. Comment on the comment section and I can send you the book via email. Uh, I have the Kuss book, a Bites book, and I have the CDs, but uh, I don't know how I'll send the CDs. I know I can send it through email, but it's a lot of work. But because of my love for you guys, I am willing to send you that as well. Just write for me in the comment section. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment, share, and turn on the notification bell so that you get updated anytime I upload a new video and as always i will see you in my next video tschüss <coughs> tip number nine <laughs> nine eins zwei drei vier fünf sechs sieben acht nine nine <laughs> what the hell is nine in german <laughs>